Thank you very much. Muy gracias por la TNT. <laughs> Yo, I think this should be our thumbnail. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Herman 4 am again, back with a new video for Minecraft Dungeons. I just returned from my trip to Spain, Mallorca, and we all knew that during that time, the new Spooky Fall event was going to drop. So that's also the reason why I didn't upload for a couple days. It was a pretty epic trip. I might talk about it during this video. But, um, but this event comes with some pretty epic new rewards. For example, the gear which you can see at the left, as well as the Phantom Cape, if you do seasonal adventures, but also the Red Phantom Pet, if you complete the tower and honestly though i have no clue what the strategy is going to be to beat it so we're going to attempt to go from zero to hero basically get our hands on the red phantom pet possibly some pretty epic rewards as well so let's check it out all right so the new tower layout gonna reset in six days we can always make a video for the next layout next week but this is apparently a special one of course you also get the red phantom pet but um yeah let's check it out on apocalypse difficulty so so i'm gonna share what i think is gonna be interesting once again i haven't checked out this layout yet so we don't know what's the best to roll with we don't know the strategy but uh, we're just gonna narrow down to uh, things which are probably gonna be the best anyways um we start with a sword with sharpness exploding 70 mercenary armor with explorer lightning focus and accelerate void strike on a bow the void strike is pretty nice but yeah all these items are pretty nice skilled like power level wise with the mobs we have to defeat so we definitely want to focus on ooh, on artifacts first this is actually a nice bridge on which you can fight prevent yourself from getting overcrowded let's say but um, normally this is a stupid creeper skeleton floor. And right now it's a lot more interesting. With some uh, pillagers, some uh, spiders. Of course it's not nice when they run away. <laughs> we still have a potion so we can go in aggressively. Oh boy. Of course it these defaults off. And that's probably already it for the first floor. Nice thing is you can actually roll from this place to the other side. Let's see. So this could be a nice strategy. Okay, we get an enchanter's garb. With uh, some pretty bad enchantments. Mace, a scattered crossbow with dynamo, multi-shot. Um, a corrupted seeds. This is actually a pretty nice choice to begin with, as we don't have any artifacts. It has a 10 second cooldown and can entangle up to 8 targets. Pretty nice CC or crowd control to um, be able to run away from your enemies a little bit easier. Take them down with your bow from a distance and we'll also have a battle stuff. I'm gonna go with the corrupted seeds. Actually pretty solid first pick. Uh oh, so we get overcrowded, we just use it the seeds and we can just carefully take the bad boys down one by one. Oh, what did the, this guy just fell out of the sky, this enchanter. That was funky. Let's first take this guy down. Oh, strength potion. Let's go. 25 seconds to obliterate the bad boys. I think that's already the last one. There we go. GG. Okay, this time we get a Mystery Armor with Faster Roll, Freezing Resistance. Also Electrify, it's pretty interesting. A Whip with a Guarding Strike, Exploding Crossbow. Mm, these are pretty bad. And then also two artifacts. The Satchel of Schnacks, 16 seconds cooldown. I'm not sure if the food value or the food quality scales with the power level. I think it does. If not, it really doesn't matter. It will only uh, reduce the cooldown reduction. So it could be nice even for the end game in the tower. But I'm not a huge fan of it as it's pretty bad. While the updraw of Tome also has a 10 second cooldown. Can work very well in combination with the Corrupted Seed. So then we get two times crowd control. We can both entangle and push or stun up the mobs. So um, this is actually a pretty solid second pick. Let's go. Combat floor. Hmm. We can already do a little bit of enchanting. We got three enchantment points, but I'm not sure if it's going to be necessary already. A TNT. Let's check out this. Bam! Oh, I love the combo, actually. Of course, we just wasted it, so now we're going to have to do everything manually. Whee! 
But this is also interesting. You can just use this bridge to roll from one place to the next one. Or, well, this is actually a higher floor, so don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, we get to keep our TNT. And boom, look at this. We instantly one-shot all the mobs right now. I'm just going to stick with this TNT. Take it to the next floor. There we go. Floor three cleared. So, now we get to choose mercenary armor. A double axe. Oh, look at these enchantments, guys. We get smiting, rampaging, looting. So, if we take down enemies, we actually have a chance of finding potions, TNT. I'm not sure about arrows. I haven't played for a long time, so it might be possible. Ambush, poison cloud, leeching, and the lightning. Wow. This is actually a pretty solid pick. Uh, Gong of Weakening used to be a top tier artifact, but uh, it actually got nerfed. Instead of dealing three times more damage, now it will only deal two times more damage. So with a 20 second cooldown, I'm not sure if this is going to be interesting anymore. Void Quiver is pretty nice, but only for ranged, and your arrows are limited in the tower, so I'm actually gonna go with the double axe. This one sounds pretty solid. I'm also gonna enchant it right at the bat. We've got some leeching right here. Let's take the 5%. Uh, rampage. You know what? I'm gonna go with looting. I think the looting is gonna be nice. 200% chance of finding all these um, extra consumables. Not many enemies around this time. Yo! With the updraft tome, we can one-shot the big guys. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, the double axe already one-shots most of the enemies. So this was a pretty solid pick. Look at that. We now have three TNTs. I'm just gonna stick with these. Until we, like, really need them. Ooh, squid armor, a soul knife, but a red snake with two times looting. Guys, we can go ham with the looting if we want to do that. I think this could be a pretty interesting strategy. While we also get a soul lantern, mm, we're probably going to outlevel this one pretty fast. A corrupted beacon, we're going to need souls for that. Soul gathering. Mm. I kind of want to go with a enchantment point, but red snake sounds too interesting. I'm, I'm going to try a looting build. I think this is going to be fun. Let's see. We got just one enchantment point. So let's go with that. Oh, I thought we were able to click um, the entrance already. Uh oh. Here we go, bro. Look at that combo. That's crazy. We even trigger the looting when we use TNTs. It's outrageous. Just one guy left. Kablamo. Ooh, interesting. So now we get busy bees. I'm not sure if we want to go with a busy bee built again. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's actually a pretty powerful one as it distracts your enemies. But um, yeah, maybe we should go with something else. So crossbow, void touch blades. We already replaced these two. Artifacts is top priority right now, but I don't know, man. I'll, I'll just go with the bees. Combat floor. See? They're just so nice, man. Just stand back a little bit. Just gonna throw in a lot of TNT. See what happens. <laughs> Fire in the hole, ladies and gentlemen. More TNT. I am TNT hungry, man. <laughs> oh, three once again. So this build is definitely going to be interesting. Let's place another one right there. Ooh. We get a totem of regeneration. Could be nice with the bees, but... Yeah, if we level up, this one is going to be out-leveled very fast. It heals 1,500 HP. Our gear currently has 1,100, but if we go to, let's say, plus 100 power level... This one is going to be pretty useless. So I think this time I'm going to go with Enchantment Point. Even though the spear looks pretty interesting. Hey, yeah, we get a new Sprout Armor. Eye of the Guardian. 1,400 damage per second is nice. It's actually a Corrupted Beacon right now. But still, Enchantment Point. Rampaging. Rampaging, man. The 10 second chance is so low. I'm, I'm not sure if we want to go with that. Let's go with the higher tier looting. Oh, this is going to be fun. 
Whoa, wait, 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 it's floor seven. We already get a merchant floor. That's pretty early. I mean, normally it's at floor nine, right? Unique Smith as well. So we already have unique Red Snake. Mercenary Armor or Double X. I would go with Double X, actually. Ooh, roll with power level 84. Yo, that's sick. It used to be 75, I think. So it's actually a power smith at the same time. So now we cast shockwaves. So uh, it's basically an extra range weapon. Oh, we get a boss floor right now. Yo, man. <laughs> at floor 8. That's new. That's actually new. It used to be 11, 21, and, and 30. Or 20, tw or 10, 20, and 30. I don't know. Oh! Corrupted Cauldron. That didn't do a lot of damage. I'm gonna drop some bees for distraction. Look at that, man. <laughs> Fight D&D all the time. You just have to keep spamming it. For more TNT. Blammo. Nice. Give me more. Is it only dropping TNT? No potions. Seriously? It's pretty annoying. I was hoping for potions to pop up actually. Man, I just keep taking down the mobs. Thank god they can't hit me from there. Uh oh. Man, they deal so much damage. Oh boy. Did you see that damage, man? The small guys are so OP. Uh oh. Nice. More TNT. I'm so glad I took the beast, man. I was hesitating. I wanted to go with something else, but uh, as you can see, the bees keep them busy all the time. That's why they're called the busy bees. <laughs> So with the cauldron, you just want to keep hitting him with uh, your ranged attacks. Thank God we didn't run out of the arrows yet, because yeah, you don't want to be near those flames. Now we can actually go in for a second, but you don't want to get overcrowded. Oh! Ah! So much going on. Just a couple more hits. There we go. Nice. Floor 8 cleared. Whew, that was a pretty challenging boss, actually. It took a pretty long time to take this bad boy down. This one requires a lot of souls, so... Yeah. I think I'm just going to go with uh, enchantment points. Maybe go with rampaging this time as well. Nice. The Guardians are useless. Look at all this CC, man. They can't get to me. Uh oh. The burning is scary. Okay, I'm overextending right now, but still. I'm doing fine. And this TNT keeps popping up. Still full HP. There we go. Nice. I'm so curious what's going to be there on floor 
a combat floor. Okay. Climbing gear. It's gonna give us a lot more armor. Wow, the love medallion, ladies and gentlemen, is very interesting to use to tame enemies around you to uh yeah let them fight each other especially against some guardians no 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 no. i'm gonna go with climbing gear actually we can even boost uh the damage of our pets wait 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 wait, wait. more looting power refreshments oh bro this is such a tough decision right here i'm gonna go with climbing gear more survivability yes was not the best choice i think if i think about it again but um, the extra HP is definitely very helpful. See? Otherwise, it would have been destroyed right by now. Oh! They just keep dropping these items, man. Let's not overextend. Don't go to YOLO for him! Oh, man. I said it. I said it. Don't overextend. I was a little bit uh, too overenthusiastic, let's say. That's how you lose lives in a very stupid way. Okay, let's not do that again. Uh-oh. Thank God we had the potion on cooldown. Maybe we should go with a refreshment build, actually. Uh-oh. We don't want to stand at that blast radius. Whew. Definitely regret getting my hands on this climbing gear. Damage reduction. Chance to negate damage. It's pretty sweet. But I'm going to go with enchantment points. We definitely lack a lot of these bad boys. More looting. To drop consumables. I haven't seen them dropping any consumables. So right now, this build is pretty bad, man. I was hoping for some potions to pop up. Some uh, some shadow brews, strength brews. But it's not happening. Pretty buggy, if you ask me. Ah, there we go. The first potion. Bam. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, Ironhide Amulet. This is a nice one, actually. 25 second cooldown, minus 40%. Ooh, evocation rope with ladies and gentlemen. Artifact cooldown, movement speed. Yeah, movement speed, we don't need that. Um, a sword, just a regular sword with looting. A swirling radiance. Ah. I chat my points. You could go with protection, but yeah, the 50% damage taken on tier 3 is just so bad. I want to leech extra lives. Did you just see that? The zombie leaped towards me. That was so weird, man. I've never seen that. Oh, hidden creepers. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. The combo of the TNT and the snaring and the CC, basically. Just keeps giving me more TNT, man. Din din. Nice. Floor 12 clear. Oh, a Deathcap Mushroom. Satchel of Elixirs. I kind of want to stick with this build right now, actually. I, I really dig the extra looting we get. So we get two tier two lootings on this one. Tier two looting on my whirlwind. Artifacts are probably going to become less powerful in a couple waves, but um, enchantment points. Oh, floor 13. Merchant floor once again. That means another boss. Guildsmith. Let's guilt this one, I guess. Climbing gear? No, 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 no. Guilt. 
grants temporary shield. So, well, well, well. It's a tier one. <laughs> it's fine. I think it's one or two seconds. I'm not sure. But it's fine. Let's see if it procs with the, the TNT kills. Another boss floor. Yo. That's crazy. Uh oh. This guy is going to hit like a truck, man. I'm sure of it. This guy is pretty slow, though. I'm just going to use my ranged. Distract him with my bees. It's just an abomination. A slow, very slow moving abomination. He's gonna die, boy. Bam! Sweet. Looks like the shield procced for like half a second, so I'm not gonna expect much of it. The butterfly crossbow... Mm. I'm just gonna go with another enchantment point, actually. The, the shock powder sounds good, but I'm pretty happy with the bee distraction right now. Let's go with maximum leeching. It's too expensive. Ah, bro. Let's go with more looting, then. I should have just waited with my enchanting, but uh, this is not going to make a huge difference. Oh, piggies. Bam. Oh, incoming TNT, amigos. One more sk Oh, just a couple more right here. <laughs> nice. Wow, they just keep coming. There's so many enemies on this floor. Where's the last one, though? Okay, they start to hit pretty hard right now. Splendid rope. This used to be my hands down favorite item in the game. I absolutely loved it. More artifact damage, artifact cooldown, melee damage. 3,300 versus 2,200. I think it's gonna be a nice one to go with, actually. Scatter mines are also a top tier item, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna go with the Splendid Robe. I don't know, man. So much more HP. Ah, the enchantments are so bad, though. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> ah, it's, I'm gonna regret this decision, probably. Nothing we can enchant, really, right now. But the 50% bonus damage is so poggers. Look at this. That's it. It's so much fun that we just keep getting stacked up with the TNT. Man, it's like a TNT looting belt. Ooh. I'm gonna go with enchantment points. Artifact synergy could be nice. I mean, we keep spamming the artifacts, right? I'm gonna do that. Okay, this is the same floor like last week. Uh oh. Look at all the TT popping up right there. Yo. Boom, boom. The nice thing about the TNT is that it just deals so much damage and it doesn't matter which power level your items are. You will just always hit like a truck. We even have spare TNT right now. <laughs> GG. Totem of Casting, a fantastic multiplayer item, but not going to be interesting for this build. Or solo in general, really. Okay, let's uh, place our distraction in the middle. Boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's so much fun, man. Here we go. Mr. Bombastic Mega Fantastic. Thank you very much. Muy gracias por la TNT. <laughs> Yo! Get destroyed, bro. TNT all over the place. That's pretty fun, right? I think this build is solid right now. We don't need anything else, really. A chapter point. Oh, I remember this floor, the witches. Boom! Dude, they're getting destroyed. Yo, look at all the TT popping up again. Ah! Out of the blast radius. Can we throw it up there? I don't think so. But we can try this. <laughs> Okay. Hey man, I think this should be our thumbnail. Floor 19 already, and yeah, we lost a life due to a fortunate business. But um, <sighs> double looting on this bow, it's definitely better than the red snake. And it also has multi shot, but we're not really using our bow any times, right? <laughs> we just throw TNT 24 7. Love medallion once again. I think I'm going to go with enchantment point, actually. We want to have more TNT. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. That's it. 20 clear. Okay, we get a 30% chance to summon a B when hit. I still prefer my cooldown reduction. Uh, light feather. Not that bad. Not that bad. But I'm still going with the bombas. Wait, wait, wait. This is a merchant floor, guys. Um, we don't want to enchant just yet. This is a power smith. Okay. So uh, we can upgrade our splendid rope to get a little bit more HP. We kind of want to stick with the cooldown reduction, but um, my roll wind should be stronger as well. Ooh, this is a tough one. We might have to replace the spreading rope soon. And we're not really using our bow at any times. Let's increase the leeching. I'm gonna increase the roll wind, I think. <sighs> there we go. 105, yo! Nice. So now we're probably gonna have to deal with the boss. I sincerely hope this one is not a heavy hitter, as we are pretty squishy. We're like a magician. 21 is a 22, sorry. Is on the top floor. That's weird. Here we go. Ah, uh, the wretch wraith. Oh! Creepers! Stay there. Okay, my bow is super low. We should have changed this one, actually. Yeah, it's a problem, man, when... He deals a lot of range damage. And our range weapon is super low. I guess we just spam our artifacts, then. Whoa, he gets a shield right now. So this is a special phase. I think it got updated a little bit. Ouch. Ah! 
Thank God I had the shield. Oh man, that's it might kill me. I don't like this. I have to heal up quickly. Please summon in some ads. Uh oh. Oh man. There was no chance for me to escape from that. But I have to change my strategy. Will it help if I stand behind this? No, it will not. Okay. That's bad news. Give me HP. Ouch! Ouch! I'm just gonna have to keep spamming the artifacts when we get close to him. I don't like the spraying when I can't see where he is. That's too long, man. That was not good. It dealt a lot of damage. But if we get a proc on a rampaging, I'm just gonna rush in with a bonus attack speed. And make short work of him. Here we go. Don't run away right now. That was good. Oh! <laughs> Not the pinkies. Not the pinkies. No, 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 no. So close right now. That was scary, bro. I just heal it for a second. Ooh. Okay, we have a potion ready. Now we have to proc rampaging. User artifacts spam. I think we will be able to take him down in that case. If we do everything right. Oh well. The movement speed slow is annoying. Ah! Uh, that creeper though! Something has to happen. This is bad. <sighs> Heal up a little bit. There we go. Okay, that was scary. If the hitboxes of these things are backed, we are screwed, man. Uh oh. I kind of want to take this thing down right now. Oh boy. He is so low. This fight has been going off for a pretty long time right now. This is it. Woo. No! No, 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 not yet! <laughs> yeah! 
Yes! Come on! Oh, bro. 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 What? It's completed. No. Oh, my God. It's at floor 22? I honestly didn't check the total amount. I thought it was always 30. Apparently just 22 floors, but yeah, we get four bosses, right? Did we get four bosses? A 263 Truth Seeker with um, double radiance and anime conduit. While well, we get a mechanized saw blade, double radiance. Oh, come on, with the shockwave and also a wolf armor. I think I'm gonna go with the mechanized saw blade, uh, while the Truth Seeker also sounds pretty epic. I just really like the busy bee option right here, so uh, let's claim it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, power level 263, mechanized saw blade. Zing, zing, zing. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. That's still pretty broken. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Mushroom? <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be insane. Um, chances are gonna be after defeating a mob. Ah, oh, man, it's it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. All right, lads, that was it. Now we can also, um, of course, rip the rewards. See the reward tab, claim our red phantom pet. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the nether. I, I like the new pet, guys, let's be honest. But um, yeah, that is basically it. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button as it helps out the channel. Very much appreciate it. And yeah, let me know in the comments which items you picked during this run, which boss you struggled with most, and um, maybe you also went with a looting build. I personally thought it was pretty entertaining. A squishy one, though, so you have to take a little bit of distance from your enemies. But um, yeah, right now it's 4 a.m. out. Time to work on a new video. If you're new to the channel, by the way, don't hesitate to subscribe as there is a lot more coming your way. I'll see you guys very soon. Have an awesome day. Till next time. Peace.